Babe, why I look so much bigger than you? <laughs> I'm so tiny. You're so tiny that you could just fit in my pocket. Yeah. So that's why I look like fucking Andre the Giant. <laughs> you <laughs> like, like, like you've been on a roll tonight. Like just hey, with your antics. I'm just talking saying. about how do you how can you tell somebody age by the moles on their face? Like at this you point. Can. It's you not just, just the moles. It's the great grandmother. Yeah, it's not the moles. It's the moles and what comes with it. And she just developed a whole dark space with her moles. Anyway, because I don't want people to think I talk about them. Because I don't. Always. Not everybody. Some people. Not everybody. But anyway, I don't know why I look so big. Probably because I'm on my restitution stuff right now, y'all. And I really, 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 really need to lose weight. Like, seriously. But I cannot stop eating and drinking her Kool-Aid. <laughs> and my stomach is getting small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait a second. Wait. Babe. You <laughs> Y'all hear this? <laughs> oh, that was her showing you guys that her stomach is getting smaller. Yeah. Okay, so we are vlogging tonight because I wanted to take the time to publicly tell you guys about how amazing my skinny, the <laughs> love of my life, where if I, where if I... fiance. <laughs> is she is so freaking amazing and i'm so tired and i just really want to get in the bed but i said you know what i cannot go to sleep before i make this video and just say publicly how much i love you and how much i appreciate you and how much i'm so grateful for you and yesterday let me tell you guys Yesterday, I knew she, she's like so bad at surprises. <laughs> so I knew she had a surprise for me. I had no idea what it was, but she gave me, you know, instructions to just go and, and take um, the dog and the child to, <laughs> to the house. And, you know, that we were going to have a, a day. And she wanted me to just be relaxed and stuff. And so I was like, okay. You know, I could do that. And so because I knew she had a surprise, I said, oh, I'm going to get cute while I'm up there because whatever she got planned, I want to be cute for. So I had planned for my daughter to do my nails. As y'all see, that didn't get done because I ended up doing a bunch of other stuff and get my feet done. I wanted to get my lashes done, get my hair fixed. I had all of these plans, you know, but being lazy, we didn't get out the house till late. And then once we got out the house, it was like I got up there with the kids. And once I get with the kids, you know, I'm doing all of the mommy duty things. And so I didn't get to do anything that I planned to do. But sure enough, as soon as I sat down to start getting my little manicure and pedicure, my daughter runs downstairs and she's Five like, hours later. first of all, she dropped me off at three. She came back at seven. Four hours. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> so, anyway, anyway, so my daughter's like, Ma, mom's outside. She said, you got to come now. So, I was like, foot in the, in the spa thing. And I was like, 
well, tell her, can't she wait just a few minutes? I'm just going to get my, you know. And she's, my daughter's like, I guess she's like her bully or something. Because she's like, no, get your foot out of the mm -hmm. thing. Try it off. You got to go now. So I'm like, I'm not even going to be cute for the date night. You know, I'm really sad because I'm like, my nails not that. My daughter putting up all of the stuff. You don't need any of this anyway. And I was like, okay, this must be a real private in the house date. I also knew because she gave me a clue that I was going to be having chicken Alfredo because I wanted it earlier in the week and she was like no baby you're going to have that on Friday so I said okay so I was thinking like at first I was like she's going to have a chef cook Alfredo but still I would need to be cute for that because you know we would be having company you know I know she loves me and all of my nakedness you know and when I say nakedness I don't mean naked I mean just you know no she doesn't care if I don't have my contacts and my let I haven't had contacts in two days and she still looks at me the same way and the drive is it's mind blowing to me because my contacts I know attracted her to me but um, my nails not done my lashes be hanging off in the morning my hair this part right here be like sticking up doing some type of Frankenstein thing and she still be like baby good morning and i be like oh she love me love me because i'm scaring my damn self when i go to the bathroom and look in the mirror but anyway i knew that she was going to be doing something special so you know i'm trying to figure out what it's going to be and then she was like she also gave me another hand because she's like you know what i'm gonna give you a full body massage and i'm gonna show you what these hands be like and so i'm like oh okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna have Alfredo and um she's gonna give me a full body massage. She wants some extra activities to go on, you know, okay, and she's probably sick of my ass, you know. <laughs> she's going to sleep every night. So this is she has decided to put the kids out, she put the dog out, and she is going to, like do some old extra stuff. So that we can, so you know, pop what we so you know what I'm saying. So, so she brings me back home, and she wants to put our blindfolds on. So I said, "Oh, she done did some slick shit in this apartment. Okay, this is gonna be good. Like, cause I love some redecorating and stuff. You know, I'm really big on that. You know, and setting the mood and doing romantic stuff. I've never ever in my life, 36 years old, a lot of relationships, two marriages, two divorces, never had anybody like really go all out like to do stuff for me. You know what I'm saying? So." I was super excited and so she you know she puts the blindfolds on me and um brings me in and then she takes me in the bedroom I said I knew this, I said, I knew this shit but anyway <laughs> we get in the bedroom and she's like um I take take the blindfold off and I'm like this bedroom looked the same way it did when we left <laughs> I said you know you made the bed babe you know it's, it's okay she was like yeah excited too and I was like oh okay she made the bed don't be ungrateful now get it together so so then so then she's like take all your clothes off I said you know I knew this shit I knew it okay I've been sleepy okay I've been tired body hurting I'm stressed out you know it's been a rough week all right, here we go. Then she comes in and here's your glass of wine. Oh, she wants me to get drunk first, okay? Let me step away. And so <laughs> then she comes back and like, okay, blind, put the blindfolds back on. And she mentioned like my cousin or somebody is putting up a pole. I knew damn well when nobody putting a pole up. And then my retarded ass got to thinking, oh, I, I brought a pole for us, a, you know, to put in here when we first moved in, and I could not get it installed. We tried everything, and it looks like we lost pieces. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no little thing lost, and you did I've lost a major piece. Okay, we actually <laughs> did lose a major piece to the freaking pole. So I was like, she might have really got another pole, and she want me to strip. Oh shit, she about to see I can't dance. 
<laughs> you know, I said, I swear, I was like, oh, and then she got somebody out here. I know she don't want nobody else to see me strip, so this is a bit much. But she, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I was thinking this before she came and got me. So when she came to get me, she didn't have no clothes on. She had on a robe, and I could tell she ain't had nothing on under. I said, listen, I don't know who the fuck your cousin is, okay? You know, I don't care. No, enough is enough. Now, this has gone too far, okay? I was like, this. She is taking it a little far now. She ain't got no clothes on. And if somebody out here in the living room, this is about to be a problem. I'm definitely going to scratch this nigga and get his DNA or her DNA when we get out here. And then match it with her DNA to see if they really related. Because I don't care what she got planned. She don't got clothes on. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was Bianca's thoughts. But so we get out here. We get out here. And she takes my blindfolds off. And she got two whole fucking massage tables out here. With two whole people. Two girls. And I was like, you know, had I not known my baby, I'm like, she is really into some freaky shit. But no. <laughs> I was like immediately like, mind blown it just it's you know it blew me away you know and it, it really 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 blew me away and it just was like i'm not gonna get emotional on this camera <laughs> not gonna happen get it together suck it up but it was just really okay i'm together now it was really a blessing to have you like care enough about me and all of that I've been going through because I have been completely stressed out literally losing my mind all week long and to top it off like you know I I, I know that you're learning me and digesting me the same way I'm learning you and digesting you and it's like I really have been like almost hard tech mode you know almost stroke mode because of all the stress that i've been going through and it was like i know this might seem like a little overboard to people watching you know but honestly for me when i saw this like candles everywhere dinner on the table you know the music and it was like everything just flowed i went from ready to um scratch whoever was out here for dna to, <laughs> to to like i swear i was like this woman really loves me enough to want to save me because even yesterday morning i was like losing my mind you know she was sleeping peacefully and i kept trying to let her sleep let her sleep let her sleep but i was really going i was not going into i was really in panic mode and you know my anxiety was through the roof and i felt myself you know about to really have you know a severe attack and i'm not you know i don't take any medication or anything for my anxiety and stuff I'm, you know but I was trying so hard because she's never seen me like that and I didn't want to scare her and I also didn't want to make her think that I wasn't strong enough to take care of myself and to take care of my own you know illnesses and that's an illness you know that you have when you have panic attacks and and um, anxiety attacks and things like that and I don't want you to think like she can't take care of herself so I was like let me just try to deal with this on my own and I tried so hard up until the very last moment when I was just like babe I need you to wake up and that was probably like 12 o'clock in the afternoon so it wasn't like it was early morning but it was still like I knew you were peacefully sleeping you know so when I saw all of that it was like this woman loves me enough to want to save me you know try to not that a massage can completely save me you know but just to stop the world for me you know to stop everything that's going on in my world and say and then even with like t telling the kids to go home i'm just like she's sending the kids home too like she is really what is happening this is gonna be a serious little date but it was not even about a date it was just like 
I needed a moment of silence. I needed a moment of peace and you gave me that. And that was just like amazing, you know. The massage was nice, you know, and this was the, you know, cause the masseuse were really, really nice, beautiful women. They seem to have beautiful spirits. It wasn't like, I always wanted a full body massage and it wasn't like one of those like, uh, you know, like I really feel like I needed a uh, massage and it wasn't like that, but I felt, I guess because I was just in such a serene moment, because I had a whole fucking breakdown, y'all. It was just ugly and embarrassing. I had a whole fucking breakdown. And I had to, like, suck it up and get myself together because I realized I was kind of fucking up time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, these women are waiting because they're here to do a job, you know? But it was like, you know, I can... What you tell me the name of the, the thing is called? Blessed Hands? I can see why it's called Blessed Hands because the massage wasn't like a real rough, like let me work out every nick and, 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 and get all your muscles relaxed type of massage. It was like a soothing, peaceful massage. It was just like... Like, let me, like, you need to be at peace. You need to be comforted. You need to relax type of massage. And it's so crazy because I've always wanted a massage. And even because I've been in so much pain all week long, I've been thinking, like, I really, really need a really good massage. My body hurts daily so bad all the time. But that massage was so peaceful and so, like, just fucking just amazing and that's why i was just like this is amazing because i mean granted i'm still in pain that's not even no here no there but not here no there but i was so spiritually and and i guess not even just with the ladies but just the whole entire thing like just what you did you being there the whole entire thing was just amazing and it was beautiful and it was thoughtful and it was considerate and it was caring and it was just a blessing to have had you do something like that for me and I just could not go to sleep tonight as tired as I am without telling you that and I know you probably be like why does she want to vlog all the time but it's because I know a lot of people watch my journey a lot of people watch me for years and I truly appreciate everybody that watches me has watched me for years and follow my story and know me and I know that it's a lot of people that go through what I go through daily and feel like you know I absolutely cannot make it or God don't have nothing good in store for me but Lord have mercy I would never have dreamed that God would have had you in store for me and I'm so grateful that he did and I'm grateful for the journey that it took for me to get here to you because it's a blessing to have somebody really care enough to want to save you to want to help you to want to do whatever it is they can do in their power to make sure that you're okay and you showed me yesterday that you love me that much, that you will do whatever you can in your power to make sure I'm okay. And I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you, baby. My hair. And it's a it's fire. A fire. It's a fire right there. You gotta come closer. Mm. I love you. I love you too. You too? So did you enjoy yesterday? Yes, I did. You did? It relaxed all my muscles. It did. It definitely did. That's good. Well, I just wanted to tell y'all that. And you. And now we can go to bed. Well, she rat watching rat battles, but... That's what I do. I was going to go to bed. It was, it's been good. You know, it's been good. But, you know, I don't want to, I have dreams every night. And normally it's about what, like, whatever we finish watching is what's going to be my first dream of the night. And dreaming of being a rapper is not what I want. <laughs> and dreaming of battling a rapper is not what I want. Even though I do have skills, y'all. Bars. You know what's real. I have skills. I be spitting. Don't 
don't act like you be missing. <laughs> oh my God, did she do that just now? <laughs> <laughs> See this shit is ready to continue. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I ain't on a mission. <laughs> oh hell no. Y'all good night. <laughs>